Hello everyone, welcome to English class. This is Stephanie. This is the Vision Church Level 2 English class and this is the class for Wednesday, April 22nd. I hope everyone is safe and well and coronavirus free. All right, so in today's, this is part one for um, April 22nd. And in this part, we're going to review the homework that I assigned. So in this class, this is part one for April 22nd, the homework review. The homework was pages 84 to 89 in your student's workbook, which is this. And as you can see, I have page 84 up on the screen. So I'm gonna try reviewing it like this instead of just reading off the page. So just know that our class in our classes, I'm gonna be trying different things till I try to find what I think works best. So you guys can always leave me comments and let me know which segments you liked or you didn't like or whatever, okay? All right, so let's go over this. Page 84, lesson D, reading. So it says, read the article, complete the sentences. Then listen. So you've already done this, so we're not going to play it and listen. Um, but what, what, what I am going to do is just read through it and, and so you can check the answers that you have. And if you miss anything, like I said, always feel free to call me with questions. All right. Antique Alley is the newest store in Centerville. Antique Alley opened on May 1st, and now it's having a big sale. Everything is 75%, 70, everything is 50% to 75% off. Those are the best prices for old furniture in Centerville. I visited Antique Alley yesterday. The furniture is beautiful. For me, the nicest thing in the store was a large mirror. I didn't buy it because it was also the most expensive thing in the store. It was $1,300, or you could say it was $1,300. Whoa, that is expensive for a mirror. Of course, it was also the oldest thing in the store. It was 300 years old, but there were things that were cheaper. There were things that were cheaper than the mirror. The cheapest thing was a small lamp for only $12.95. I feel like I missed a sentence in there somewhere, but I'm not sure. If I did, I apologize. All right, last sentence. Visit Antique Alley this weekend. You'll be surprised by what you find. Okay? All right, so uh, exercise two on page 84. It says, answer the questions. What was the name of the store? Now, they did this one for us. The name of the store is Antique Alley. When did it open? It opened mm. first. Number three. What was the most expensive thing in the store? The most expensive thing was a large mirror. Well, you could also say the most expensive thing in the store was a large mirror. You don't need to add in the store, but it would be correct if you wanted to as well. Okay. Number four, why was it so expensive? It's so expensive because it's old. Number five, what was the cheapest thing in the store? The cheapest thing was a small lamp, or you could say the cheapest thing in the store was a small lamp. Either one is fine. There's always more than one correct way to say things. Okay, um, and then number six, why was it so cheap? It's so cheap because it's small. Okay, so.
So that is page 84. And we're going to continue on and review the answers for page 85. And in that, uh, on the next few pages, I'm not going to have the page up on the screen. Um, I'm not sure, you know, the value of this, but I'm experimenting with my videos to try to, you know, find things that I like that I think you guys might like. So your feedback will be very important for me. Okay. All right. So let's continue on. Okay. So we're going to continue on with checking the homework. All right. So now we're on page 85 and this is a crossword puzzle where you had to match the words from the word bank to the pictures on the left. Okay. So let's just read over the words in the word bank. Aquarium. And you can just repeat it after me if you like. Okay. Below that is bookcase. The next column is computer desk. End table. And remember the end tables are the tables that you might have in your living room at the, on the sides of your couch. All right. Next column. Entertainment center. Furniture, mirror, recliner, and sofa bed. All right, so this is a crossword puzzle, and we match the pictures with the words. All right, so number one, that's our entertainment center. So find number one in your crossword puzzle and write entertainment center. All right, picture number two, what is that? Yep, that's our bookcase. So find number two in your crossword puzzle and put bookcase. Number three, what is that a picture of? Is that a recliner? Nope, what is it? Yep, it is a sofa bed. All right, so that is number three. Write that in your puzzle, find number three. Number four, what is that? Recliner, very good. So write recliner in your crossword puzzle for number four. Number five, that is a computer desk. Very good. Number six. What's number six? End table. Yes, number six is end table. All right, number seven. That's aquarium, right? So that word, aquarium, uh, since it's four syllables, I'm going to write the word sounds on the board for you, okay? So you, this is something you might want to add to your um, student, your, um, your, your notebook. So aquarium. Hmm, there's a glare up here. Let's see. Yeah, that's probably a better place. A-Q-U-A-R-I-U-M. And to pronounce it is a que re um aquarium aquarium that's how you pronounce it and that's the sound aquarium all right so let's see that's number seven number eight furniture that's different pieces of furniture and then number nine is mirror so write those words in your crossword puzzle all right so you probably already did that if you missed any of them and you want to call me or email me um that is quite all right all right number page 86 all right page end of 86 lesson e writing read the note answer the questions okay so this is a note dear miguel this is a special gift because it was your four, it is your 40th birthday. This is an airline ticket to Mexico. Ooh, Vienna. That sounds good, doesn't it? That'd be nice to be, get a free ticket to go home, right? All right, hold on one moment. So Gabby, free ticket to Mexico. Um, I've never been to Mexico. I think I'll take that free ticket too so I can visit. All right. So you can visit your brother there. I know you miss him. Happy birthday. Your loving wife, Amelia. Wasn't that sweet of her? Absolutely. Very sweet of her. Okay. 
So now that is the note. We got the airline ticket over there. And we're going to answer six questions. And they did number one for us, okay? Who is the gift for? The gift is for Miguel. Number two, who is the gift from? Now you want to write that as a complete sentence. The gift is from his wife, Amelia. All right, number three, what did she give him? She gave him an airline ticket. All right, number four. Why did he receive the gift? He received the gift for his 40th birthday. Number five, where will he go? He will go to Mexico. Or you could say he will go to visit his brother in Mexico. All right. And then number six, what day will he leave? And if you look at the ticket, you can see the answer to that question. It says leave on August 10th. So he will leave on August 10th. Okay. All right. Exercise two, combine the sentences use because. And because is the word you use when you're given the reason for something. Okay. Number one, they did for us. I brought the sofa bed. It was the most comfortable. And then you use because to combine those two sentences. And you say, I bought the red sofa because it was the most comfortable. So you made, you just took two sentences and made it one. All right, so that's what we're going to do for number two. Sandra gave her sister a pair of earrings. It was her birthday. So you combine it. Sandra gave her sister a pair of earrings because it was her birthday. Number three, Mr. and Mrs. Chong shop at the clothes corner. It's the nicest store. It's really funny that the name of this place is the clothes corner because my sister is a tailor, which means she makes clothes. And she used to have a shop, a tailoring shop, and she called it the clothes corner. So I thought that was really interesting. Okay, so Mr. and Mrs. Chung shop at the clothes corner because it's the nicest store. Number four, Roberto bought the brown recliner. It was on sale. Combine it, Roberto bought the brown recliner because it was on sale. And you guys know that I love sales. <laughs> Number five, I bought an entertainment center. It was 50% off. I bought an entertainment center because it was 50% off. Okay? All right, so let's move on to page 87. Read the chart, complete the sentences. Here's page 87 right there, that chart. So hopefully you guys have your workbook out and you're looking at the chart on page 87. Read the chart, complete the sentences, use the comparative or superlative. And remember, comparative is to compare two things and you use the superlative for three or more. All right? Okay. Exercise three. Yesterday, I needed to buy a lot of things. So I went shopping at best discounts. Smart department store is bigger than best discounts, but the salespeople are nicer at best discounts. Okay. Also, the prices at best discounts are better than at smart department store. Remember, good, better, best. All right. Uh, let's see, where am I? And it's also more beautiful than best discounts. But the prices are higher. That's number six. All right. I never go to super discounts. It's the oldest department store in town. It's the smallest and it's always the most crowded. 
All right, very good. And then exercise four, page 87. Complete the sentences, use the chart in exercise three. And we're going to use the superlative down here. All right, so number one, the adjective is small. Super discounts is the smallest because that is the superlative for small. All right, so you can look at the chart and see which store is the oldest. All right, number two, super discounts is the oldest. And how do we know that? Because it opened all the way back in 1970. So it is a lot older than the other stores. Okay, number three. Smart department store is the biggest. Number four, smart department store is the most expensive. Number five, best discounts is the cheapest. Because their prices are very low. You see the other stores are medium and very high. So since best discounts prices are very low, they are the cheapest. And then number six, super discounts is the most crowded. That's the superlative for crowded. Okay, so that's page 87. Let's see, we've got to go to 89. All right, let me hurry a bit. All right, 87. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry, 88. Lesson F, another view. Read the questions. Look at the ads and fill in the correct answers. So we have two ads there, well, actually three ads. One for Nick's Nearly New, one for Big Bill's Best Furniture, and the other for modern furniture. Okay, so we're going to answer some questions based on the information that's in each ad. All right, which store has only used furniture? Number one, they did that one for us. It is C. Nick's nearly new. Okay, number two, which store makes deliveries? Which store makes deliveries? All right. So you look at the ad for each store and see who says something about deliveries. All of them make deliveries, right? Nix does it on the weekends only. Big Bills does it for free, and Modern Furniture, bring a van and take it home. It's extra for delivery. They deliver, but it costs you extra, okay? So number two is all of the above. All right, number three. Which store has new and used furniture? All right. Number three. A. A. Big Bill's Best. What does it say? New and used. Okay, so number three is A. Number four. Which store has a Father's Day sale? A, Big Bills. You see that? It says Father's Day sale <laughs> right there in the sign above the chair. All right, number five. Which store is open on Sunday? C, Nick's Nearly New. It says seven days a week. The other stores are only open, let's see, Monday through Saturday. They're closed on Sunday. So Nick's Nearly New is open seven days a week. There are seven days in a week, so that means it's open every day. All right, and then number six. Which statement is true? B, 
Modern Furniture Star charges extra for delivery. You see that? The last line in their ad, it says extra for delivery. All right, so let's quickly go to page 89. Look at the ad. Complete the sentences. Use one, some, the other, and the others. And we learned this in Unit 7, how to use those. All right, so let's go through this real quick. Number one, so we've got a one-day sale here. We have purses, necklaces, shirts, tables, and armchairs. Those are all the items that we have for sale. All right, number one, they did it for us. There are two necklaces. One is long and the other is short. Number two, the necklaces are cheap. One is $30.00. And the other is $25. All right, number three. There are four purses. The purses are nice. Some are $15. And the others are $50. Okay, number five. The, there are six shirts. Some are white and the others are striped. Number six. The shirts are different prices. Some are $20 and the others are $18. All right, number eight. I like the chairs. One is $175 and the other, no S, is $50. It's only $50. And then number nine, there are two tables. One is round and the other is square. And then 10, the tables are nice. One is $100 and the other is $125. Okay, that is our homework review. I hope you guys were able to complete it. Now we are finished with the homework in Unit 7. And we can start Unit 8's homework um, in our next lesson and we'll be in the same place, homework and classwork, both in Unit 8. So great, guys. Thank you so much for your attention. Don't forget to leave a comment in YouTube and at least like it or give me a thumbs up or something because CPAX wants to know that you're watching and getting something out of it, okay? And always feel free to text me with ideas about how I could change the videos to make it better. If there was something that was confusing or something you couldn't see on my board, let me know. And if you like the videos where I'm in the little picture and the page is up on the screen, let me know that too and I can do more of those. Okay, thanks guys and have a great day. Bye.